Greetings everyone, I'm Dr. Anth. In a prior video, see the link below, I discussed two of the major methods for dating the past. Carbon-14 is useful for dating the past to about 50,000 years or so. Potassium-argon dating is useful for dating the past millions of years. In this video, I will discuss some other dating methods. Dendrochronology, or tree ring dating, matches the tree ring patterns of known ages to samples of wood of unknown age to determine the exact age of an item. Different regions use different trees to form the library of tree rings, to which then the samples are matched. However, only trees from temperate or arid zones where there are seasonal changes in temperature and moisture, produce tree rings. For instance, in the southwest of the United States, the bristlecone pine is extremely long-lived, so the library can be used to date wood items back to about 10,000 years ago. Dendrochronology results in an absolute date for an item, such as 2253 BCE. Stratigraphy gives relative dates such as older or younger. For instance, in this image of a midden or trash dump, items found in the midden layer are younger than the chalk layer beneath and older than the soil layer above. If something in the soil layer can be dated using carbon-14 to say 560 years ago, then we know that items found in the midden layer are older than 560 years. Biostratigraphy or faunal correlation uses the fossil remains of animals to aid in dating other sites. For instance, as discussed in prior videos, potassium argon dating is useful in East Africa because there are volcanoes and volcanic ash. The ash can be exactly dated which helps paleoanthropologists date fossil remains and stone tools by their position between the ash layers. South African sites cannot be dated in that way because there are no volcanoes. However, the sites can be dated using biostratigraphy or faunal correlation. Fossil animals such as fossil baboon or fossil pig teeth can be matched to the same fossil teeth from East African sites which have been dated using potassium argon. This then provides a range of dates for sites in South Africa. Dates for South African sites are not as precise as for East African sites, but using biostratigraphy does provide upper and lower boundaries. Another type of stratigraphic dating is paleomagnetism. The Earth has a magnetic core, which means there is a magnetic pole. At this time, it is the North Pole, but sometimes a magnetic pole shifts to the South Pole. These shifts to the South Pole are called reversals. When volcanic and sedimentary rocks are formed, the magnetic elements within the rocks point towards the magnetic pole that existed at that time. Geologists have created a paleomagnetic time scale. This shows that reversals seem to occur randomly. If rocks found at a site have magnetic particles pointing south, it indicates the site occurred during a reversal. But which reversal? To determine which reversal requires another dating method such as faunal correlation. There are still more methods used to date the past, but the methods I've discussed in these three videos provide you with a good overview. It isn't just carbon-14. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel.